Hey, what's up, mighty and powerful people? Today I want to talk to you about Sologenic and Corium because together they are doing some great things. Uh, I, I just got some news I want to share with you. But first, let me let me walk through this real quick. So Corium, they're building the network to essentially help bring Web3, which is the future of the internet. Uh, a lot of technology will be running on Web3 as we will be using crypto in a mass adoption, essentially. So in order for that to happen, these systems, these networks, they need to be built on the, vir the Ethereum virtual machine or the web assembly machine. And uh, there might be a couple other ones, but for now, those are the two big ones. And Corium is building on Wasm, which is the web assembly machine. If you're familiar with Songbird and Flare Network, they are building on top of the vir Ethereum virtual machine. And projects like Polkadot is building on both. So they are all essentially working together on the background, but Corium is more tied to XRP than Flare, in my opinion, because XRP and Ripple, which are different, uh, are supporting the web assembly they have been a part of the w3 consortium for quite some time so this is just a more of a natural evolution in the development of the xrp ledger in uh in the sologenic mission and corium solo and the sologenic foundation are as you can see by the picture they got polka dot you know they they have ethereum they got bitcoin they 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 know oh that's interesting that that's all on, on the left they they know what that's working with they know what it entails and they are also you, i mean you they've done their research they also have xrp binance the which is the binance smart chain so pancake swap all of the bsc coin tokens uh and then they have corium right here and it looks like it's a uh, orbit, like it's orbiting around a coin. Maybe it's maybe it's going to orbit around Sologenic. All right, so Sologenic is creating it's the tokenized securities on demand. And in my mind, the way I look at it is Sologenic is creating the um, 24/7, 365 global stock exchange that anyone in the world can exchange their assets without having to jump through all these hoops so if you live in the united kingdom you have to essentially and you want to buy a stock in america you have to essentially create an account in america to be able to buy from the new york stock exchange and vice versa if you're an American and you're trying to buy a stock in the UK or European Union or or anywhere else, you have to sign up and get an account in in that country in order to buy the stock that is registered in that country. Sologenic is trying to solve that, and that is a huge use case. I mean, e even the forex market can't do that. I I mean, it 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 has its limits, right? It's it closes on I think it's Saturday or Sunday that it closes. So to be able to have a 24-7, 365 global stock exchange, that's massive. And they, they met their limits on the XRP ledger. So they built Corium to further empower Sologenic. And as a result, they are empowering the XRPL token. So I, I see it as, as Corium, like Corium's about to get listed on Bitru. Other because XRPL tokens have gotten listed on Bitru, but these all these exchanges that have been recently listing Sologenic are going to be able to list Corium, which will pave the way for all the other XRPL tokens because Sologenic and Core that's XRP, but Sologenic and Core are XRPL tokens right now, and so the exchanges are going to be integrating the XRPL tokens, which will pave the way for all of the other XRPL projects that uh, you might be invested in, as well as that will be continue to come online, will be able to list. 
And so on to the news. This is this is fantastic news right here. So with wars, there's refugees. We we've we've known that, right? Sologenic and the, uh, the Sologenic Development Foundation uh, is supporting the uh, operations for aid to uh, to help with the displaced people of Ukraine. And so they are donating ten thousand USD to the unrefugee agency to help them and i i think that's that's special that's that's unique that's that's fantastic and what i'm liking about all of this i mean it all sucks right it all it all absolutely fucking sucks but what i uh, no buts i i like that the people are standing up and helping the people that is such a beautiful thing to me, and I love seeing that. It, it is different to see this because it just shows that we're waking up as a society, as as a human consciousness, right? We're we're waking up to just trying to be better because we are all mighty and powerful. Take care. I'll talk to you later.